Welcome back to another One Piece Social Cruise video guide. It's time for the 60th seminar Clash, Garp and Sengoku. On first stage, Charles killed a Machinda guy in the middle back row. Then proceed and kill the other guys. And I'm always stalling on one of the cannon guys. They are going to blind you for 5 turns instead of attacking on the first attack. And as you can see, I made a TMA's team with uh, 5 plus Nico Robin, Raid Bato, Raid Bellamy, and TMG4. Now, on this stage, Charles killed the front row, and I kind of figured out depending on the color of the back row, we are going to either face Gaup or Sengoku. Because they are dex type, we are going to face Sengoku on stage 4, and when I face the int ones, you will see that in the next video. It's versus Garp. Then we are facing Garp, like I said. Now just take your sweet time here and start a bit. The video versus Garp will be without Wiseo because it's pretty much the same fight and it's a relatively easy one. Now on this stage, just make sure to kill the girls in the back and as much for the units as possible. Then that Shinta guy in the front middle, once you kill him, will give you all block offs and bind your captains for six turns. The guy left of him, the red one with the knuckles, he will skip his first attack and instead display your captains for 6 turns. So I'm leaving him alive to start further on this stage. Now what to replacements. When it comes to free-to-play replacements, there is none for this team, sadly. And on the next stage, I also screwed up, because I didn't finish off the Sengoku in the turn I should have, and triggered his below 20%, but you're going to see what happens then. It's not a bad one. Now just go ahead and kill the knuckle guy and move to the next stage where we are going to face Sengoku. Sengoku has 2,600,000 HP roughly. He preemptively halves our chain, boosts his own attack by tw uh, twice and on his death he will deal 14,000 damage to you. And after some turns, I don't remember, it was 5 or 6 or if you bring him below 50%, he will give you all recovery orbs. Now Garp does the same with the recovery orbs, but when he does that, he's also locking your chain at 2.5 for 5 turns, I think. And Garp in general is easier than Sengoku. Now when the chain lock is gone, or the half is gone, I'm switching to my Boundman here after I consumed all the recovery orbs, meaning on the next turn I'm switching and start dealing damage to him. I'm switching to Boundman and start dealing damage. Now on the next turn I'm making the mistake of not killing him because I didn't hit my perfects here. And then it would be great. Otherwise he would have been dead. Now below 20% as you can see he just locks or binds your captains for 10 turns. 
I can uh, take the time to talk a bit about uh, Clash Unit itself. Sengoku, if you take him as a captain, he boosts the attack of fighters by 2.5 and the HP by 1.2 and makes int orbs beneficial for fighter characters. Garb is a dex unit, he boosts the attack of fighters by 2.25, their HP by 1.2, but boosts his own attack by 3 and makes dex orbs beneficial for fighter characters. I think there was a mix up with the translation there, it states 2.52, I'm but I'm not 100% sure. Now if you use the special, you got the dual captain ability, which is they boost the attack of fighter characters by 3 times, their HP by 1.2, and their own attack by 4 times and make dex in recovery and tandem orbs beneficial for fighter characters. Their special is they remove all possible positive buffs on your team, reduce the spare duration by 2 turns, boost the attack of fighter characters by 1.75 for 1 turn and also the orb effect for fighter characters for 1 turn and they become Sengoku and Garb for 3 turns. Their sail ability is they boost their own attack. Oh, that's a limit break ability, sorry. Uh, they boost the attack of all characters by 40 if your captain is a fighter. Now to the fight versus Garb himself. I'm starting with a TMA special here and Bellamy. Sengoku and Garp have 5.2 million HP preemptively put up a two hit strength barrier. After their first turn they will attack and bind your specials for two turns. If you kill them they are going to revive back to around 70% health. So they, as you can see they bind our specials from the top two rows. Well, I'm going to use Nico Robin. And now I'm using my G4TM and because of the orbs I didn't get two strength orbs I had to exit the app and reset it I just had to do it one time here and of course use your G4V2 special 2. You could also start with G4V2 if you're a bit scared because he provides you for higher damage but with this team it's a pretty easy fight in my opinion and resetting the app is something I would, yeah. in Germany would you say, uh, in Kauf nehmen, because it's not, it's not that, yeah, I don't know the English word. <laughs> but like I said, um, it's a pretty easy fight with this team and after turn 2 they will attack and paralyze the team for 2 turns. After turn 3 they will attack and switch your orbs to block orbs. After turn 4 they will clear your buffs or and debuffs and repeat the abilities I just mentioned. The revive I covered with the 70% health heal. And if you use any heal or health cut they will heal to full if it deals damage to them so keep that in mind doesn't they don't do that if it gets assaulted by a barrier now i will leave you alone with the rest of the video which will show you the fight versus garb and like i mentioned you have a pretty easy time if you face him much easier than sengoku even though he has higher hp he has around 3.3 million and of course, no, oh, just one word, um, the unit itself, he is a really good sub for V2 Sanji in my opinion and a pretty decent free to play unit too. So go ahead and farm him, at least one copy of him is needed because he's going to be boosted for the next session map so make sure you get him. If you don't manage to clear the 60 stamina, just go ahead and do the 40 stamina. I think um, there are some chopper man missions up where you're getting the unit guaranteed. 
just take a look at them. And then of course, yeah, good luck with those special level ups. You need quite a few of them because it's a clash unit. And as always, thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.